All right, this is the property on San Fido Way. And I'm standing at street level, right at the base of the walkway. Give you an idea of what's around here. Lots of birds chirping. So now let's walk up the stairs. This is a good way to keep people from knocking on your door if you don't want them to, is to have all these stairs. From the doorstep. This is the view. And there's the house. Hello? This house is inhabited, so I want to make sure I'm being polite. Okay. So upon first coming in, we have tile. And then over here is the formal dining room. Hand scraped wood, looks like. Chair rail, crown molding, arch doorways. And here's the light fixture. Okay, back at the front door. Uh, the foyer looks like this. 10 to 12 foot ceiling, I have 12 foot ceiling with crown molding. So let's go to the left. Go to Nook. And then this is the master. Go to floors, get a paint effect on the walls. molding, tray ceiling. Here's the bathroom. We've got dual vanities, very tall and shorter, with black granite. Here's the shower. It's a step in. Probably just a couple inches. And then we have a jacuzzi tub. And here's the light fixture over the tub. Cabinets for storage. Here's the potty. And then here is the closet. Got wood floor in this closet too. It's pink. And hanging top, bottom, and on the side. Um, attic access is in the closet. And over on this side we have another chandelier. And it goes this way a little bit for storage. Okay. And then look at that light fixture. It's very intricate. All right. So that's the master suite. Back out to where the front door is. There's a good view of the front door. They've got these little doors so that you can talk to people who are outside without opening the door. Okay, so from, from the front door, if we were to walk straight in, we would be in the office with the same flooring as the dining room has. And let's see. Closet. Double doors. There's a light fixture. Back to the foyer. I've got another accent nook and inset for the painting. Alright, so if I take the next left, 
That will lead me down this little hallway to a potty, which is also accessible from outside where the pool was, and we'll be out there in a minute. And storage closet. So you can get an idea of everything. We've got arch doorways and all of these shared spaces, common areas. And let's see what's over here. Laundry room with a sink, cabinetry, has a little bit of a step in. Again, let's see that if your washer floods, your whole house doesn't. And then here's the garage. We have a couple steps down. This is a three car. So we've got one door for two cars and then a door for one car with a water softener, sprinkler system. Okay. So back into the main hallway. Um, now we're coming to the kitchen and dining, I mean living area. So here's the kitchen. Pantry. And then looking into the kitchen, these are stone countertops. They've got an interesting finish on them, almost textured. Here's the fridge. And looks like a four burner plus a griddle Gen Air gas stove. And then two ovens and your microwave. And this is the breakfast nook. And on this side we have cabinetry, sink, dishwasher. And there's an island in the middle. It's probably three feet by five feet. It's a guess. And here we have the informal family room, living room. It's an oversized fireplace. It's a gas fireplace. Got recessed lighting, a fan, crown molding. Let's look at outside over here. Maybe. Maybe not. Unless it doesn't want to open. Okay. Well, we'll have to see if that door over through the potty works. <laughs> Let me show you through the window. So there's yard. It's grass. Um, Wrought iron fence. It looks like there's, I don't see a fence in the back, but it backs up to green space. And then you have the pool. And seating area, patio. My phone doesn't know if it should focus on the window or outside. It's a nice pool. Sunning area on the top. So let's walk through the family room. There is a breakfast bar, not a breakfast bar, but kind of a pull up over here next to the sink. You could put stools there. And then we have closet, <laughs> a very full closet, and stairs. So let's go upstairs and see what we can find. I have an idea what the banisters, railings look like. They're metal that I'm holding on to. Got another nook over here. Here's a light fixture. All right, first space we come to up here is another living space.
It's got the same wood flooring as the bedroom, which is not exactly the same as the dining room and office, but it's similar, similar, same color. Okay, well, we can at least come outside on the balcony. So this is the balcony from upstairs. Beautiful breeze up here. So here's the view. Oh, there's a fire pit down there too. Neighbor's house. That's the view from the balcony. Oh, here's the ceiling up here. A couple of lights out here. All right. Now down the hallway, oh, there's a little nook over here. And then we have um, I suppose a media room that they have made into a workout room. No windows in here, so this would be a good, a good media room. And it's got tiers um, on the ground for chairs, I guess. Okay. And the bedroom. Bedroom looks out on the front of the house. It's got Berber carpet. Here's the view. There was a closet over here. Let's see what this is. Closet with shelves. Kind of hard to see. No lights. And then there was a closet over here. It is a closet closet with a couple of hanging racks. This bedroom has a Jack and Jill bath. So here's the vanity that goes with this side. And there's the potty and tub shower combo with sliding door and there's the other vanity that leads to the other bedroom so this room has a queen size bed in it it's a good size looking out in the backyard Here's the closet. With a window in it. Alright, so I'm back out in the hallway now. This flooring matches the flooring in that upstairs living space and the flooring in the bedroom downstairs. And here is a third bedroom upstairs. Another queen size bed. And here's the closet. This bedroom would use this bathroom. It's not attached, but it's right outside the door. So that was the bedroom that we entered first up here. That had the Jack and Jill, and here's the hallway that leads to the other spaces. And media room, upstairs living space, and I'm gonna go back downstairs.
So this is the property on San Fidel.